Hey everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sean. And we watched a movie. Yes, we did. In fact, we've been watching so many movies, but we've had a memory problem. Uh, please excuse our unplanned absence. Uh, for once, it was not my memory that was the problem. <laughs> it was a memory card yeah. thingy. Yeah. SD card, yeah. Ugh. So it broke. Uh, we it did. just broke. It just broke. It wasn't me. <laughs> it was me. It probably was. It yeah. was. Yeah. I'm the one that takes it in and out of the camera. In and out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we had a memory card issue, and uh, our area is on super duper lockdown, so there's no going to the store for things that break. Yeah. Uh, you're just out of luck. Unless it's slash food. You can get Unless, food well, if it breaks. Do you break food? <laughs> Sometimes. Well. <laughs> Sometimes. I've Sometimes. I've dropped more than one uh, pasta sauce in my day. Okay. Fair enough. And you also do uh, eat so much you break yourself. <laughs> Mr. Sometimes. My throat is closing because I ate too fast. But don't worry. I can eat through it. It's actually better if I just keep eating. Just keep shoving yeah. food down the narrowing hole. Yeah, it's... <laughs> he said this to me this week, guys. It's true. <laughs> Anyways, our reviews are piling up, so please excuse the onslaught that's going to happen, but we've got lots of stuff we want to talk about, so without further ado, uh, <laughs> let's go into I'm Your Woman. Okay. I'm Your Woman on Amazon Prime. So that's where you will find I'm Your Woman if you're interested, and... It's actually pretty good. You might be interested in this. Yes, I think you might be. Uh, it is a 70s crime drama, the way you have probably rarely seen a 70s crime drama. And I'm guessing you've seen a, a few lot. 70s crime dramas. It's a very fertile period for crime drama. <laughs> it is, isn't it? For we whatever do go back reason, there, this is uh, one of the heydays of the mob. <laughs> of this the mob. in like yeah. 1930s prohibition era. Right, yeah. And the 70s were just such a sexy time. Sure they were. Everyone looked so great. Right? <laughs> it is what we say about the 70s. Um, so we've got Jean played by Rachel Brosnahan. She is really the star of this thing. Because um, unlike most mob crime movies, we're not going to follow the mob. We're not going to follow her husband, Eddie, who has gone off on, and gotten himself into some trouble. We are going to stay home with Jean and the baby Harry um, and, and see what happens to the people who are left behind by these mobsters who are disappearing all the time. And, and truly, that must have happened all the time. That just well, wives sure, were left at home tending to kids, being like, I wonder where he is, and like if he's just whoring around or if he's actually dead in a ditch. Yeah, according to the movie. Or on the bottom sleeping with the fishes. Everyone's going to disappear in mysterious circumstances. Often. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to happen to you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and don't even assume the worst because <laughs> this is just every day. Yeah. Anyways, so. When we meet Jean, she is relaxing in her front yard, no, her backyard, I should say. She is relaxing in her backyard in a wonderful 70s, like, dressing gown. And should she be outside in it? Hey, no judgment. <laughs> That's another phrase Sean has taught me this week. <laughs> he tries that out every time he's judging me. No, every um, time I'm not judging No, <laughs> no. As I told him, people only ever use that when they are definitely judging you. Like, that's, there's not even a question. If you have said no judgment, it means too late. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she's outside sipping wine in her sunglasses and negligee, marabou trimmed. Actually, a lovely shade of magenta. Quite eye-catching. Um, and she's telling us in a voiceover, I believe, that the reason why she's a lazy about uh, is because she fell in love and got married and then they tried to have babies but couldn't. So now she's just a housewife, a 1970s housewife. Which of course means getting drunk in the backyard in inappropriate attire. Um, <laughs> I think that is pretty much what it means. Yeah, so she ain't got no babies. Except for then her husband, Eddie, comes home with a baby. <laughs> it's unexpected. Um, it is unexpected. Uh, it, pfft, very unexpected for us, for her. For everyone except uh, Eddie. Well, <laughs> I don't know. 
I, you know, we he don't He seems to have put some planning into this. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's, oh boy. <laughs> we never get a straight answer on the baby, which is named Harry. Um, so don't even concern yourself with this, because the baby is not, like, that's just window dressing. That's just proves to you uh, that Eddie is involved in some kind of shady business where you could just procure a just baby. Buy babies, yep. Um, <sighs> that happens, apparently. So the next thing we know, you know, she's at home with this new baby. Uh, she's got stuff to do now, great. Uh, he's still going out to work. In fact, tells her, I won't be home tonight. So when she has woken up in the middle of the night, she's like, oh, it's just Eddie. Because this happens, but it's not Eddie. It's not Eddie. It's some other dude who is telling her that Eddie is not coming home tonight. We need to get the F out of here. Let's get all that cash out of your closet. So this guy knows about shoebox money in the <laughs> closet that she doesn't even know about. <laughs> Uh, old shoebox money. Oh, you know how I feel about shoebox money. <laughs> blah, blah. Do we have shoebox money? We have shoeboxes <laughs> filled with things I have bought with money. <laughs> well, that's pretty much the same They're thing, filled I with guess. shoes. They're filled with shoes. <laughs> They're filled with shoes that, sadly, I don't even wear anymore because I have a deformed ankle Whoa. that doesn't even allow me to build, bend my foot that way anymore. I'm like a deformed Barbie doll. You know, when we're, well, you don't know this, but when I was little, Barbies had like yeah, permanently they're, they're arched, arched feet, feet to I slip into their always high heeled shoes. But now my foot is like the opposite of that, where it's just permanently won't go that way. It's very sad. It is very sad. Uh, and we jammed so many needles into that thing. That's true. Trying to unbend it, and she Didn't won't work. go. She won't go. But, anyways. They've got cash in their shoe boxes. Yeah. I, w I wish you had secret cash in our shoe Me boxes. Me too. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I do also Never mind. wish that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean. I tell him all the time that I won't really, no judgment. No, really, I will not mind if he goes a little bit breaking bad. Like, a little, like you know. Like some sort of respectable criminal enterprise where I'm the boss. Could you? Yeah. Well. I want shoe boxes filled with cash. Who does um, it? <laughs> well, we should ask Jean how she feels about it. Because this guy gets into her house, she doesn't really even know him, but he knows about the cash in their closet, won't let her take like clothes or toiletries or even baby supplies, just grabs the humans and the cash and gets out of the house because she's in danger passes her off to a complete stranger named Cal, or Rinzi Kenny uh, plays Cal, who is really quite terrific. Pretty good cast of this, I have to it say. It is, yeah, everyone's um, pretty good. Yeah, uh, and he does not seem pleased to get stuck with her. Uh, he is also being dragged into this against his will. I think he was in maybe the mob life or the shadowy underground life some time ago, but he's been out, but he owed somebody a favor. You never really get oh, out. Oh, you know. So he is being dragged back in. Now he has this woman and her baby, this white woman and her white baby of unknown providence, baby Harry is. Um, he doesn't know these people at all, but now it is his job to guard their lives with his, um, keep them safe from something he doesn't even know what, which is hard. It is hard to keep somebody safe from an unknown threat. Um, so uh, his wife, Terry, look, thank God for Terry. Terry comes on board as well. Marsha Stephanie Blake plays Terry. She's also lovely. So this husband-wife team is going to try to keep Jean and baby Harry safe. And it is not an easy enterprise, let no, me tell you. it's not. No. There Even are a lot of people after them. Yes, there are. There really are. Um, Eddie has crossed his bosses. He has betrayed some high up people. So there are a lot of people looking for Eddie and, and looking, also looking for... looking for Gene to find out where Eddie is. <laughs> yes. But just generally also looking for retribution. Oh, also true. Yeah. Um, so also uh, Terry and Cal involved their dad, Art. <laughs> Art, played by Frankie Faison, really liked him yeah. as well. The whole family is now in on guarding Gene and she doesn't make it easy. She, no. You know, she's... She's not the best at this. She's not the best <laughs> at this, that's true. 
Um, but I have to say, I really thought that this was a fun movie because uh, I really liked the subver subversive aspect of it, just like turning the tables on the usual crime story where we see the forgotten people. Usually they're just background characters in yeah, the movie. that's absolutely true. And now we're seeing them and finding out what life is like for them when <laughs> when their husbands are out doing we don't even know what, but nothing You're right, good. because in most movies we would follow Eddie, Eddie. and that's we would right. leave Jean and then she would go off with Carol and <laughs> yeah. we may or may not see her at the end of the movie. That's right. <laughs> so, um, Julia Hart is the director behind this, and we have been big fans of hers since we first met her at the South by Southwest Film Festival, where she was presenting her film, Fast Color, which That's was great. in 2018. Um, sorry if I just repeated that. I don't know. <laughs> no. But anyways, Fast Color is also kind of, su of a subversive uh, film in that it's about superheroes, more or less, but it really uh, shows you the human, human side. side. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it does. Starring Gugu Mbatha-Ra, who I love and yep. who is exceptional. Really good Although, again, a good little cast because we get to meet her whole family. Her family, that's right. Um, and it's really good. It's very interesting, and it, but it's just a very different take on the superhero genre. Yeah. Um, and you're and right. This is similar. Yeah. This is something where, and it's. Julia Hart and uh, her partner Jordan Horowitz, Horowitz. yes, who are slash writing, husband, slash husband, mm -hmm. who are writing both of creative them, creative and right? romantic. Yeah, ooh, ooh, la, la. yeah, yeah. So he helped her write this, um, which is really cool. Uh, but I, I just find it it's they're very different movies, obviously very different genres, um, but they're not afraid to go in and just tell the wrong side of the story, which is kind of cool. Uh, and unsurprisingly, uh, both times the untold story was the female story. So yes. leave it to a female creator to be telling those stories. Uh, and using Imagine a really that. fabulous cast to do it. So again, this is an ensemble cast led by Rachel Brosnahan, who um, you may know from The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. So this is like a breakout hit on Amazon Prime as well. It's won a lot of awards. A lot of, for her and for yep. the show. It's a critic darling, except for with this critic. You're right. Uh, I, well, you, we tried to watch I it. I did try to watch we it, We got of like maybe halfway through the first season and then We watched like... a couple episodes for sure, but I couldn't <laughs> tolerate it. Um, you hated the stand-up, and just, that's like the that premise the of the show. That is the point of the show. So it's about, I think, a 1950s-ish housewife, Rachel Brosnahan, who, I, you know, is just oppressed at home, and she wants more and can't have it, and so every once in a while, it's just like steam will rise, and she just gets all rolled up and like leaves the house on a rampage and always winds up in at an open mic um, comedy club and her pff, explosion always results in a tight five a really nice <laughs> little comedy set somehow someone with no experience has never put a, a moment's thought into these jokes before uh, and yet somehow it's a very entertaining comedy set so I just find that that premise is so phony baloney. Um, I can't even seeing it happening once, not once do I believe that this could happen. And yet this was every episode went the same way. She would explode. That was always the, the conclusion of the episode. Yes, she would wind nice up accidentally up. doing wonderful stand-up <laughs> about how terrible her actually quite privileged life was. Um, and I just could not take it. It was so... I just couldn't take it. So it was nothing against her. The premise was just too much for me. Well, now you know you have nothing against her because yeah, you enjoy her in I this I did movie. enjoy her. Although half the time I thought I was watching Evan Rachel Wood. To yeah, be there is a very serious resemblance here. Yes. Um, I actually think Rachel Brosnahan is the niece or is in some way related to Kate Spade. Oh. Yeah. Okay. One of my favorite designers, who yes. was sadly recently deceased. Yeah. Um, but I still like the Kate Spade, Kate Spade brand, even though she's been divorced from it for some time. Uh, yeah, all in the family there. Uh, back to the Julia Hart 
Jordan Horowitz family, who we love. Yeah. Not just for Fast Color, but for the Disney Plus breakout hit, Star Girl. <laughs> Boy, that was a very early hit for Disney. Yes, it was. Back in, I think it was like February, March of 2020. Uh, one of their made for Disney Plus content. It's one of their first original movies mm -hmm. on that service. Yes. So, and it did so well. It was a huge, 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 huge deal for them uh, that I didn't see coming. And yet we did. We watched it. We reviewed it. We liked it more than we ever thought we could. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, but then, of course, with Julia Hart attached, I think that's when we realized, oh, that's why we like it. Because uh, she is going to... It's based on, a, I think, a young adult novel. As they all are. <laughs> a lot, a lot yeah. of that stuff's coming out. Eh? But this was, it was good. It was cute. It was fun. Um, this is very, very different. Yes, it is. <laughs> if you're a fan of Stargirl, hmm, maybe. <laughs> Don't assume. <laughs> Ask your mom and dad yeah. if it's okay. Um, Jordan Horowitz, of course, is not just a writer, but a producer who has actually a lot of credits under his name as well. Um, Little Boxes, an indie movie I like quite a lot. Uh, the Kids Are All Right, uh, an indie-ish movie that, with some some star, some serious star power behind it. And a little indie movie that you know I love called La La Land. That's right. Ooh. Just a small time film. Yeah. A little, I don't know if you've heard of it. <laughs> But anyways, these people have some bona fides, and um, they it do, shows. and it's it's interesting of how they will have their <laughs> own little team uh, mm -hmm. projects, mm -hmm. and then they go off and do their own their stuff own as well stuff for other yeah. But the stuff they do together definitely, as you said, it does have that common their theme mark, yeah. of looking at things from a different perspective, and I think Stargirl fits into that as well, where it's not your typical team movie about uh, an outcast but no that is she what doesn't it's about take off her glasses <laughs> yeah, and, that's right. no she stays super weird the whole time <laughs> she does. never gets less weird she wasn't just hiding her crazy beauty behind nerd glasses <laughs> that cleared up the problem just by removing them yeah which is uh, very unusual <laughs> <laughs> very b bold take on yes uh, on for sure teenage romance <laughs> Anyways, I'm Your Woman, a pretty enjoyable film, uh, I have to say. Um, not as much action, although there are some intense action sequences, some car chases some car that chases. I really like, because they That's were different, true. they were yeah. done pretty differently too. Um, yeah, but you're right, they're, the car chases are the main action sequences, mm -hmm. although there is also like the shootout at the club. Ooh, yeah. There's, there's, oh, some there's some action. some action. Yeah. But there's a lot of character work in between. Yeah, this is so, mainly a character piece as opposed to an action film. Right. So it is very watchable, very enjoyable, and I Am Your Woman is found on Amazon Prime. Happy watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.